Brad Marchand of the Boston Bruins is one of the National Hockey League's best and most polarizing players. But I bet you didn't know he trains with two other NHL superstars, that he has an outdoor equipment and apparel company, or that he is in the NHL top 10 of all time in a statistical category in a league of individuals in which some of them are talented and some of them are tough. He is both? But despite being listed at only 5 foot 9 and 176 pounds, Brad Marchand makes up for his lack of size with skill, determination, aggressiveness, and uncanny ability to get his opponents off their game by trash talking and implementing sometimes maddening and even sometimes bizarre behavior on the ice. So. Because of all of this, most people have a certain image of Brad Marchand. But is that really the correct image? Or is this Brad Marchand off the ice totally different than his sometimes seemingly crazed Tasmanian devil on ice persona? Well, that's what you're gonna learn in this video. The hidden Brad Marchand, if you will. These are the 20 things you probably didn't know about Brad Marchand. Let's start from the beginning. The number one thing you did not know about Brad Marchand is that he was born on May 11th, 1988 in Hammonds Plains, Nova Scotia, which is just a suburb of the Halifax Regional Municipality. Of course, that's in Canada, and he also grew up there. The Halifax Regional Municipality has a population of around 440,000, and he was born to parents Kevin and Lynn Marchand. Brad is actually the oldest of four siblings. He has a brother, Jeff, and sisters, Rebecca and Melissa. Number two, Marchand's father, Kevin, was also a prominent hockey player. He made it all the way to the junior ranks in Nova Scotia and was a tough and physical enforcer who protected his teammates at all costs. But at one point, his coach took Kevin aside and impressed on him the importance of actually playing the game of hockey alongside with being a physical player. So Kevin worked on his skills, his skating ability, his passing and shooting, and became a far better all-around player. And when Kevin himself became a father, he taught Brad the importance of being physical and skilled on the ice. Number three, Brad Marchand and his younger brother Jeff have always been best friends, but Brad is only a year older, so they have always battled and competed up against each other physically. Basically, they beat each other up. He would toughen me up and I would toughen him up, Jeff was quoted as saying. Can you imagine? Not only living in a house with Brad Marchand as a child, but also a brother who is almost just like him? Number four, Jeff was also a hockey player. And like their father and Brad, he was tough as nuts. Jeff had 566 penalty minutes and 155 games in four seasons of Maritime Junior A hockey. He went on to play four seasons of hockey at St. Mary's University, where he continued to play in his rugged style. Number five, because they were only a year apart, Brad and Jeff almost played on the same minor hockey teams. Their father had one rule for them as teammates. According to Jeff, it was nobody is allowed to touch me except for Brad. If I get hit by anybody, he was the first person out there and would run them right through the boards. He would always protect me. Then we'd go home and he'd beat me up himself. Of course, the old age, no one can hit my brother except for me. But number six is actually not really surprising. Because alongside with his physicality on the ice, from the beginning, Brad has always battled anger issues on and off the ice. As a young teenager, he regularly got into fist fights off the ice. He attended anger management sessions as a teenager, and as he advanced up through the ranks of hockey, he also began working with a sports psychologist. Number seven, Marchand is only one of 10 active National Hockey League players who are from Nova Scotia. And as a comparison, 181 of them are from Ontario, 59 are from Quebec, and there are 57 who call Alberta home. But two of the NHL's Nova Scotia natives are superstars, Sidney Crosby of the Pittsburgh Penguins and Nathan McKinnon of the Colorado Avalanche. And here, Marchand actually trains and skates with Sidney Crosby and McKinnon during the summer, along with other NHL players and even other elite players from the province. Number eight, Marchand began his career as mainly a pest and disturber type of player, obviously. And his main goal was to get the opposition's best players off of their game. And that was his role for his first five seasons or so. Although he scored more goals and produced more points than most of that type of player usually did. 
But Ma Shand continued to work on his craft and even became one of the NHL's top players. He has become a first team all-star twice, a second team all-star another two times, and represented Canada at the highest level of international hockey in the World Cup of Hockey back in 2016. Number nine is the number of things that Marchand is called, besides Brad. Even people who do like him call him this sometimes. Among these nicknames are Rat, a common nickname for pest type of hockey player, Nose Face Killer. And of course, this is actually a play on the rapper's name Ghostface Killer of the Wu-Tang Clan. Little Ball of Hate, which was also the nickname of a 500 goal score player named Pat Verby, who is now the GM of the Anaheim Ducks. Leg Sweeper, for Marshan's infuriating penchant for slew footing opponents. The Honey Badger, Marshy, Squirrel, Tomahawk, Brat, Brad Brad, Marshmont, and Precious Little Angel, an ironic moniker if there ever was one. Number 10. Even a sitting president of the United States called Marshan by one of his nicknames. When the Bruins visited the White House after winning the Stanley Cup in 2011, then President Barack Obama jokingly referred to Marshan as a little ball of hate. Later in an interview with the Sports Illustrated about it, Marshan jokingly said, if the President of the United States gives you a nickname, you've got to stick with it. Brad Marshan, the little ball of hate, shrugged off the rookie jitters. <laughs> Number 11. Should be pretty obvious, but Marchand is a big time trash talker. He is considered one of the NHL's best at it. But in the annual polls of NHL players, he has been voted both the league's worst and best trash talker a few times. Marchand said in 2020, I'm a little disappointed about being the worst trash talker, but I mean, you can't be right every time on it, right? You just have a couple of fails. but. It's an honor and a privilege. I just want to thank everyone around the league for dealing with me. It's been fun. Number 12 is also no surprise. Marchand is the most suspended player in NHL history. He has been suspended a total of eight times during his 15 season career. Marchand has missed 28 games due to suspensions, been fined five times for a total of $25,000, and he forfeited, wait for it, more than $1.4 million in salary. Number 13 is that he could have been suspended a few other times, including in the 2018 season when he licked the face of Ryan Callahan of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Number 14 is Marchand's favorite hobby. He grew up spending a lot of time outdoors and hunting. Well, Marchand still loves the outdoors. And well, he'll probably always find Marchand out there with a crossbow hunting whenever he's got the opportunity. And his almost constant partner when crossbow hunting is former Bruins defenseman Calvin Miller. The pair even launched an outdoor sports equipment and apparel company called Marsh and Mill Co. Number 15 concerns Marchand's place in the history of the Boston Bruins franchise. He is one of only five players to score 400 goals with the Bruins. The others are Hall of Famers. Johnny Busick, Phil Esposito, along with Patrice Bergeron and Rick Middleton. Marchand, who has 401 goals right now, scored his 400th late in the 2023-24 season. Number 16 is that Marchand is a pretty dangerous goal scoring threat even when he's killing the penalty. His 36 shorthanded goals are the most of any active NHL player. That ties him for 8th all time with Hall of Famer Sergei Fedorov. The 36 shorthanded goals are also the most in the history of the Bruins. And now, number 17 is just unbelievable. Despite his physical and chippy style, Marshan has never had 100 penalty minutes in a season. His highs are 97 in 2021, 96 in 2018, and 95 in 2014. Number 18 highlights Marchand's consistency. In his 14 NHL seasons, Marchand has scored over 20 goals in all but one of them. He's also topped 35 times with a high of 39 in 2016. Number 19 is that for most of seven seasons, Marchand played on what is most considered the NHL's best line. From 2016 to 2022, he was on the left wing. The perfection line, which also featured Patrice Bergeron at center and David Pasternak on right wing. Number 20 is just how those who are around Marchand the most really feel about him. Despite his antics, he is one of the most respected players among his teammates. The proof of that came after Patrice Bergeron, who's been the Bruins captain, retired in 2022, and then right after that, Marchand was named the next captain. 
So there you have it. The 20 things you probably didn't know about Brad Marchand. Which were you the most surprised about? Click the video on the screen to watch the 20 things you probably didn't know about Austin Matthews. Now, if you like this video, don't be a bender. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help the algorithm, help us grow, and see you next time.